In the episode 3 titled Hey Parker, it's Rick Parker Schnabel and Rick NES reconnected after several years of silence during their conversation. Rick made a unique request he needed a new loader. Fortunately, Parker, who had recently invested $15 million in land and a variety of mining equipment, was able to assist Rick Parker generously supported Rick ensuring their relationship remained amicable and trouble-free. However, have you ever pondered what truly transpires behind the scenes Rick? NES openly acknowledged hitting rock. Bottom, but he found solace in the positive influence of Parker Schnabel as he climbed his way out of despair when asked if Parker played a role in his return to gold mining Rick shared that he had isolated himself from everyone. During his time away, a decision he later recognized as possibly misguided, especially considering his long absence from the mining scene upon his return in the spring Parker and and Rick had a conversation. Rick remembered their discussion, emphasizing that there were doubts about his permanent departure for mining. Many believed he was done for good, but Parker's response was, Unwavering Rick is a survivor, you're going to see him back here. This reassurance deeply moved Rick to spite. Their past disagreements, Parker's understanding of him and his unwavering. Support felt genuinely. Heartwarming in essence, Parker Schnabel stood by Rick Nest. Despite their past conflicts, Parker's enduring faith in Rick meant the world to him the tension between them captured on discovery cameras over the years, faded away replaced by Parker's genuine belief in Rick's resilience most importantly Rick needed, that support to find his way back before, venturing into gold mining Rick NES, spent his early years working at his father's construction company operating heavy trucks and machinery despite a promising college. Football career and injury dashed his hopes of going pro, embracing his diverse talents. Rick delved into music mastering, the stand-up bass, and touring with the five-piece 357-string band. His musical journey eventually led him to eastern Alaska, where he crossed paths with young gold miner Parker Schnibble Ricks. Impressive skills left a lasting Impression on Parker leading to an invitation to join Parker's team a few. Months later, Rick made his debut on on Gold Rush in Season 3. After learning the ropes over multiple seasons, he naturally assumed the role of foreman despite their friendship. The two clashed on numerous occasions over the years. One notable incident occurred in Season 8, when Rick had to leave to care for his cancer-stricken mother during his Absence Parker made changes to Rick's claim, leaving him feeling frustrated and micromanaged upon his return. Rick, usually amiable, desired the freedom to set his own rules for six years. Rick worked under Parker Schnabel, but eventually decided it was time to be his own boss. He broke the news to Parker and the viewers in the mining with monsters. Episode of Season 8 Parker, although Surprised comprehended Rick's decision I. Owe you a lot man, I completely get it if. I were in your shoes I'd be looking to do the same thing Parker empathetically. Acknowledged under Parker's leadership. Disagreements escalated into heated. Exchanges between the two Parker. Admitted to being a yeller while Rick approached issues with a more. Level-headed demeanor despite being direct competitors in the gold mining. Business Parker Schnabel emphasized on the show that he harbors no ill will toward Rick NES the remain friends I truly respect and value him for being up front with me Parker, expressed what puts me at peace with. This situation is is the fact that we can part ways as friends and hopefully that friendship will endure for the rest of our lives while Parker Schnabel and Rick NES might still cross paths their relationship had undeniably shifted gold. Mining demands unwavering dedication. Reshaping their dynamic while they might share a few beers or seek advice from each other. 
It's not the same as collaborating on a shared ambitious goal. Now the two once close friends find themselves as competitors in the same challenging.